Okay, Google, turn on the dining room light. All right, turning the dining room on. So, Poundland's new ultra bright branded smart bulb, which you control through Wi Fi uh, via your phone or Alexa or Google Home. I think we should uh, we should give it a test and see how the setup process works. So they recommend the first time you plug the bulb in, um, it should flash rapidly, indicating it's ready to pair with the Wi-Fi network. Um, and you need to use uh, the app that they recommend. I use a different app. I use something called Smart Life. It works with various smart devices. Um, so I'm going to use the app I normally use, but we, you you can try and use the app that it says on the instruction sheet. So let's uh, let's connect it and turn it on and see if it flashes like they say it should. And of course it doesn't. Um, so let's see if we can make it do that. The instructions recommend that you cycle the power on and off five times to force the bulb into pairing mode. However, on the fourth go, it went into pairing mode. One, two, three, four. Okay, finally, we're in pairing mode. Okay, so I'm going to open the app and I'm going to hit the add button. Smart bulb. Oh, lighting, here we go. Lighting. Okay, let's see. Wi Fi light bulb, I think it is. Okay, this is the Wi-Fi network I'm on. Okay, it's showing the flashing, which is correct. Confirm that it's blinking. Next. Now it's scanning. Oh, looking good. Right. So, it's found it. So let's give it a name. Let's call it dining room. Right, so we've added it now. So here's our control. We can change the warmth, the color tone. Make it colder. And the brightness obviously can be controlled. And um, we can turn it off. Back on again. This can also then be added to to uh, Google Home. So we'll give that a go. Let's see. Okay, let's see on Google Home. This is what it looks like on Google Home. Off and on, and the brightness and the color tone warm and colder, different color settings. And you can set up you can add this to your Alexa account as well, and it should work just fine. It has another interesting function, that if you were to use the light switch on the wall and to turn it off, and then turn the light switch on the wall back on, it just comes defaults to on again. So obviously the light switch needs to be on if you want uh, control with your phone, but if somebody on the wall turns the light switch off, it would just be off normal. Um, you couldn't use your phone then, but if you, if you were to turn it on, then um, it would come on like a normal light bulb, and then you can obviously turn it off with your phone. So it kind of gives you some backward compatibility with the old light switch. Obviously, just turning it off is a, is, a, is a problem for not controlling it with Alexa or with your, with your phone. Um, the advantage is, of course, if you're in, in bed and the light was on, you could just use Alexa or or Google Home or um, or your phone to, to to turn it off. Let's try a few voice commands. Okay, Google. 
Turn on the dining room light. All right, turning the dining room on. Set dining room brightness to 100%. Sure, setting the dining room brightness to 100%. Set the dining room light to warm white. All right, changing the dining room to warm white. Set dining room light to cold white. All right, changing the dining room to white. Okay, Google, turn off the dining room. All right, turning the dining room off. So I think um, I think seven pounds is very good value for a Wi-Fi smart bulb, um, and um, originally I was going to take it apart in this video, but I thought. I'd make a second video where we do a teardown of this bulb and um, we can see what makes it tick and if it's possible to hack any of the components inside or repurpose them for a different use. I think it's got potential. Um, so that's it for this video. Um, let me know if there's anything else exciting we can do for the next video. Um, and uh, please leave a like and subscribe. Thank you.